I'm going to explain to you how your mind has been limited by the use of voishu or symbols as they call it. Socrates did not believe and did not write anything down because he thought that writing something down locked up ideas. It locked the idea in place. And in my opinion, I agree with Socrates. Now, I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to show you how your brain is completely controlled by Voyju. You live in a world of Voyju. So here we have a picture of Homo sapiens. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make them into something. I am going to make them into... Individuals. See how that works? I made all these people into individuals. There's an individual. There's an individual. These are individuals. Now, to change them, these same people, all the same people, into something else, I just have to change the voice you. So now, I am going to change the voice you. See that? Now we have a group. See how easy that is? Now, these individuals have changed into a group. This is how newspapers, this is how media, this is how Voyage changes your ideas and directs your mind to a conclusion that you may or may not draw without it. So now I'm going to change the group into something else. Let's see here. I'm going to change the group into a gathering. Now it's just not a group, it's a gathering. You see that? So if I was reporting on this, or I was telling you what happened here in this scene, I could say, this was a gathering of different people for... Well, if that's not good enough, I can just, for my narrative, I mean, if it's not good enough and it doesn't serve my narrative, I simply use voice you. Oh, now we have protesters. The same exact people, the same exact individuals, the same group has now become protesters. So we have protesters. Now, how would you know what these people were doing unless I had used this voice you to tell you? Well, you would use your mind. That's why Socrates says that the symbol, the writing, the voice you locks ideas. Because without this voice you here, you might think whatever you would think. I'm not going to tell you what that is. I don't know. But I do know when we use voice you that your mind is directed in the way that the voice you wants you to go. You see that? Now we have a mob. 
the same people in the same scene have now changed into a mob. You know the difference between a mob and a group? Couple letters. A couple letters. Mobs and groups and ideas like that to exist. I'm not saying they don't, but I'm saying this voids you is what's dictating that idea to your mind in this case. You might never think of this as a mob until I write it in my newspaper that a mob gathered. Do you see how slanted that can make any description given to you by anybody but yourself? Well, let's see what we can do to the mob. Oh. Oh, now the mob is angry. See that? We have an angry mob, not just a mob. An angry mob. Ooh. See how that works? Oh, oh hold on a second. Now we have an unruly mob. There's no rules amongst these people. They're unruly. Oh wait, hold on. There's more voice you coming. There's more voice you coming. There you go. Now we have a dangerous mob. That's how voice you works. Right there. Voice you means symbols. And these symbols are symbols of the alphabet in the English language. That is how Boiju works.